the Casio ES FS10 Exilum high speed camera. Uh, this is the lower model. Um, I got it for roughly oh, 160 or so bucks at Fry's in Seattle. Um, the list price, I believe, goes up to two to two hundred and fifty dollars. Um, it's a very slim camera. I'm not going to get into the great specifics of everything. I'm just going to do a general overview. Very nice, large screen you can take a look at right now. Um, now, I'm not going to talk about this camera as a still camera as much. It'll do the normal, you know, six to nine megapixel pictures. This camera has all the normal frills. Um, you have manual adjustments for your f-stops, um, you have some automatic or manual adjustments for backlighting, night images, and so forth. You know, all the basic things you'd pretty much get in any camera. What we're going to be looking at mostly is the high speed functions. And it says 1000 frames per second or 30 images per second in high speed burst mode. What does that mean? Well, in high speed burst mode, um, if you have a uh, picture you want to take of action, um, it'll take 30 pictures in that one second, you can choose the best one. That actually works out good for sporting events. Uh, but be warned, you do need proper lighting. At 1000 frames per second, you can actually take video at really, 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 really high speeds and play back at really, 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 really slow speeds. Let's take a look. Now, let's take a look at burst mode. Uh, one thing that often happens when people take a picture is they blink. So I'm gonna blink a lot, take a picture in burst mode, which will be 30 frames in a second, and we'll see the benefits of burst mode. Blink. Now let's take a look. I have the option to save the images that I just took. If I say save selected, we can take a look and see what it shot. So you can actually see that it took 30 frames and that some of them are blinking. So what I can do is then push the shutter button on images that I want to save and it will mark them on the timeline. So right there, it just marked that one. And let's take a couple more right there and there. So as you can see, there's now four marks on the timeline. Those are the frames out of the 30 that it's going to save. Now if I stop this and I say save selected and push the button, it saves it. If I go to check, take a look and see what's in the memory, I now have those four pictures saved in memory. Now if you don't want to go through all that same process of selecting images, you can also have it save all images, which would take more memory on your internal memory. Um, but there's also another mode, it's called slow mode. There's another button on the other side on the top of the camera. And what that will do is it will basically buffer about one or so seconds of video. Um, probably the same shots that you would have had in the burst mode but what it'll then do is it'll automatically then display it in slow motion as if it were a slow video on your camera in which you can then just push the button, or the shutter button and choose that one shot that you want. Let's take a look. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna blink and I'm gonna push the slow mode button this time. Now let's take a look and see what's on our screen. What we have on screen now is basically a slow motion video of me blinking. So then I can just get ready with my trusty trigger finger here and when I open my eyes I'm gonna push the button. And that's the shot that ends up in memory. So that's a lot simpler than the burst mode if you're only looking for that one shot. One shot. Now for high speed video, uh, 
the camera can do um, different resolutions, but uh, those are at different speeds. So what you're seeing here is a bit of 10 frame per second at 480 by 360. Now, um, if it's so smooth, if you um, actually had tried to record something like this without the high speed, it would have been choppy like this, where there would be pauses you can tell. As you can see, it's very smooth, and we were just playing with fire, you know, that's what I do. Um, now, there's another resolution uh, that's for uh, 20 frames per second, and the resolution is uh, quite a bit lower, 224 by 168. You can see it's a bit blocky. Now, what I've done here is um, I've actually mounted two cameras in two different directions, so you can see what I'm doing from two directions. You can kind of tell that the lighting is not as good. Um, the high speed... Uh, functions of this camera do require very very good lighting um, this is was designed for sporting events outdoors and sunlight very bright lights and so forth now I've purchased two of these cameras so I can do things like this and there's a couple other um, interesting things I want to show you in some upcoming videos where we'll use two cameras at high speed but in the end we're gonna give one camera away so subscribe um, to the channel uh, take a look for the future videos and learn how you can win one of these Casio cameras and we're going to close out here with some random high-speed shots That's the thousand frames per second at the very low resolution and um, here's a bonus